leading off the runners, number seven, short jump, Pedro Peralta. Starting second, number 11, at second base, Annabelle Pena. Starting third, number 13, at third base, Luis Mejia. Starting fourth, number 22, at first base, Christian Verona. Starting fifth, number 21, the catcher, Henry Checo. Starting sixth, number nine, in right field, Ivinson Batista. Starting seventh, number 12, playing center field, John Batista. Starting eighth, number two, in left field, Louis Cologne. Starting nine, number 19, the designated hitter, Brian Guerrero. And on the mound for runners, number four, Miguel Matos. The manager of the runners team is Julio Ramos, assisted by Kevin Martin, Joshua Valerio, and Quincy Paulino. And now for the Ashley starting lineup. Leading off for Ashley, number 26, left fielder, Kevin Galloway. Starting second, number 14, in center field, Randy Grover. Starting third, number 9, shortstop, Jackson Horner. Starting fourth, number 22, at third base, Jonathan Kavanaugh. Starting fifth, number 15, the catcher, Sean Jewett. Starting sixth, number 2, at second base, Cole Blasburn. Starting seventh, number 13, the designated hitter, Sam Farrell. Starting eighth, number 4, at first base, Drew Flankatore. Starting ninth, number 19, in right field, Nick Calabrese. And on the line to Ashley, number 34, Alex Malti. The manager of the Ashley team is Rich Powell. The head coach is Jay Corbin. Assisted by Dylan Olivares, Andrew Curry, and Sean Zabino. And now, the athletic committee chairman, Dick Pastor, will say a few words, followed by the code of conduct for the department of command of Asia.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome into Fino Field for the state championship senior legion game between Lawrence Post 15 and Ashland Post 77. Tom Nappy, Larry Sacklad, Steve Watson on the call, Connor Donovan on camera. It is a beautiful evening for some state championship legion baseball. Ashland will be the home team for this game. Alex Amalfi is the pitcher for post 77. Let's take a look at the Lawrence lineup. Leading things off is the shortstop, Keebler Peralta, the second baseman, Anibal Pena batting second, Louis Mejia, the third baseman hitting third, Christian Verona, the first baseman hitting cleanup, Henry Chaco, the catcher hitting fifth, Ivinson Batista, the right fielder hitting sixth, John Batista, the center fielder hitting seventh, Luis Colon, the left fielder hitting eighth. Brian Guerrero, the DH, hitting ninth for Lawrence. Post 15, and with the Ashland Post 77 defense, here is Larry Sacklack. Thank you, Tom. At third base tonight is Dom Cavanaugh, Jackson Hornang at short, Cole Glassburn at second base, first base Drew Rancatori, left to right, Kevin Balowitz, Brandon Grover, Nick Calabrese, Sean Jewett behind the plate catching Alex Amalfi, and that's your Ashland Post 77 defense. All right, there it is. Well, we have a terrific pitching matchup today. Miguel Matos for Lawrence up against Alex Amalfi. Looking at Amalfi throughout the season, he has, he's pitched 14 and two-thirds of an inning, a 238 ERA, four post 77. He's given up five earned runs overall and struck out 15 hitters. And from what I've heard about Miguel Matos, he is certainly a very good pitcher for Lawrence. It should be a good battle here today. Post 77 has taken the field, and can you guys believe it, all the way to the state championships. A lot of talent on this team, but even just getting to this point, what an accomplishment it is. It's hard to do. It seems like just yesterday we were over at the middle school for the first game here against Newton. Getting this thing started, and here we are. State championship game. Time to go and get it done. Absolutely. Yep. They're Cinderella no more, Tom. It's a question of are they going to go home with the Prince or are they going to leave the slipper? <laughs> well, we'll find out in moments as Post 77 set to get this game underway. And what a run it has been in this tournament. It all started last Saturday, a win over Shrewsbury. And then on Sunday, or following the 6-3 win over Shrewsbury last Saturday, it was a 2-1 loss against Sandwich. And then on Monday, a 2-1 win over Somerset to get yourself into that semifinals game against Sandwich. And, of course, yesterday was postponed. They beat Sandwich 3-0 to advance on to the championship game. And here we are. It's been quite a road for post 77, four and one in state tournament play, 22 and four overall. And they are just one win away from qualifying for the regional tournament over at Holy Cross in Worcester. Shrewsbury, the host team for the regional tournament. But Lawrence has other plans. They're hoping to get to their first regional tournament in a very long time for their program. Ashland has never been to a regional tournament. They've never won a state championship, so they have a chance to make history today for post-77. Well, Alex Amalfi, uh, no stranger to pressure situations. He pitched in the uh, Division IV uh, semifinal game. Uh, coming up a little short against Medway, but it was one to nothing game, battle, Tri-Valley League. Um, heading to UMass Boston so he's coveted and uh, looking for a good game from Alex certainly are and we are ready to get this game underway Keebler Peralta will step in to start things off for Lawrence and he can run Lawrence led by head coach Julio Ramos who has done a whole lot to keep this Lawrence program going Lawrence actually uh, had to stop their baseball program for a few years, and then they were able to pick it up just uh, starting a couple years ago, thanks to Julio Ramos and his assistant coach, Kevin Bartlett, who was the longtime head coach of Lawrence. Wind up and the pitch, that's fouled away. One and one. Well, the game prior, Luke Gustafson pitched a beauty. 
Hopeful, hopefully Alex Amalfi will double up on it. Be just as efficient as Luke. Line up in the pitch, fouled away. Alex spots his pitches really, really nicely. Paints the corners. Occasional curveball thrown in there. Yeah, Melfi last pitched that game against Shrewsbury. Ended up giving a, up a run in each of the first three innings, but nothing after that as that's off the glove of Kavanaugh. Picked up by Horning. The throw is going to be over the head of the first baseman, and Peralta is going to advance the second. He might have ate that ball. I'm going to bring up Anibal Pena. Just too much on that throw by Horna. Should have never thrown that one. No. Stick a fork in it. Yep. Or throw it substantially lower. Right. Runner on second, no outs for Lawrence. Trouble right off the bat. Yep. I imagine there's some nerves on both sides. Pretty good crowd on hand here for the state championship game. Lots of media. Same ump umpiring crew as uh, last game. Different home plate umpire. Joy had wanted a word with Melfi. Well, the umpire got some baseballs. I think Lawrence has got going to try and put the pressure on Ashland with their run game. Peralta with a significant lead over at second. Outside. There's a strike. One and one. Wind up and the pitch runners taking off. Jewett is going to lose the baseball. Stolen base for Peralta. Kind of a wild pitch there by Amalfi as well. Not good timing for that. This Lawrence team, they have a lot of speed, and they're certainly not afraid to use it. Malfi set to deal. This is up the middle, slow roller, picked up by Horning, bobbled by Horning, throw to first, they get one. Good hold right there. Very good hold. Certainly was. We'll bring up Louis Mejia. Pena hit the ball right where he should have. Right at Jackson Hornung. And Jackson did exactly what he needed to do to hold him. So Luis Mejia steps in. One out, one on. Lawrence is hyper aggressive on the bases. As we saw back on Tuesday, they, they love to run around. Swing and a miss. Well, two can play at this game. And a pitch down low, one and one. Here's the 1-1, one, one. strike two. You got the inside quarter, Steve, so what's that gonna tell you? You're gonna give Alex the corners? Because he likes the nibble. If you love the corners, he'll get them all day. <laughs> and this is a slow roller up the middle, picked up by Horn on throw to first, two outs. I'll bring up Christian Verona, the first baseman. Another great hole right there. Jackson. Well, he did exactly, the hitter did exactly what he was yep. supposed to do. It's the same spot essentially. Did exactly what he had to do again. And you're in the state championship game, so. 
Good plays are mandatory. Sure we are. This kid's got a big bat. If you remember from the other night. There's a breaking pitch, strike one. Alexa Malfi was six and one for Ashland High School this year, .91 ERA. That pitch inside, eight appearances, eight games started. Pitch 46 and a third of an inning, struck out 56. Yeah, he rolled into Hopkinton and pitched uh, Ashland to a three to one victory. Fouled into the backstop, one and two. Played AAU ball. Strikeout would be nice right here. Beautiful. And there it is, strike number three, out number three. To the bottom of the first we go. We are scoreless here at Fino Field on the Asher Legion Baseball Network. Bottom of the first inning, post 77 coming up to the plate to face Miguel Matos for Lawrence. He is the ace for post 15. Let's take a look at the post 77 lineup. Leading things off is the left fielder, Kevin Balowitz. Batting second, the center fielder, Brendan Grover. The shortstop, Jackson Hornung, hitting third. Tom Cavanaugh, the third baseman, is the cleanup man. Sean Jewett, the catcher, hitting fifth. Cole Glasper in the second baseman hitting sixth. Sam Farrell, the DH hitting seventh. Drew Rancatori, the first baseman hitting eighth. Nick Calabrese, the right fielder hitting ninth. Four post 77, same lineup as the sandwich game. Why make a change? That lineup was pretty effective against a very good sandwich team. With the Lawrence post 15 defense, here is Larry Sacklad. Well, I'm not going to roll my arse tonight, Tom. I'm just going to go right through the lineup. Uh, Luis Mejia at uh, third base, Kebla Peralta at shortstop, Annabelle Peña at second base, Christian Verona at first. Left to right, Luis Colon, John Padista, Ivan Nesta, Batista, Henry Checo behind the plate, catching Miguel Matos, and that is Lawrence American Legion defense. Well, the other night, Lawrence had nine errors, so they'll certainly have to clean up defensively if they want any chance of winning this game. And Coach Obid having a moment with uh, the third baseman, Luis Mejia. as Kevin Balowitz will step in. Lawrence uh, Post is a very vocal group, Tom. Certainly are. 77 happens to be very quiet in their dugout. Let's see if they can get something going. Swing and a miss. Ooh. Couldn't tell whether that was a change or was a curveball. We'll see. Mato steals, there's strike two. Here's the 0-2. And this is up the left side, takes a hop, picked up by the third baseman, the throw over, one away. I'll bring up Brendan Grover. You know what that shows me? He's hittable. Yep. Nice weather for the state championship tonight. We'll get you the temperature in just a moment. The HCAM Weather Center reading at 76 degrees here at Fino Field. Clear skies. There's a strike. You got those meteorologists working overtime tonight, Tom. That's right. <laughs> Go at a tough time in game one. And this is hit up the right side, caught by the first baseman. Two away, Jackson Horning will step in. I don't think pitch count's gonna be an issue for either of these guys. Doesn't seem that way. See if Jackson Horning has something to say about that. Yeah, how about 375 feet? Horning 
Warnung went three for four in the game against Sandwich today. There's a strike. Also scored a pair of runs and stole a bag. Gets a piece of this one. Slow roller picked up by the shortstop. Throw over. Six to three, four out, number three. One, two, three, they go to the top of the second. We go, we are scoreless on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Top of the second inning, a scoreless game between Lawrence post 15 and post 77. Five, six, and seven do up for Lawrence, Henry Chaco, Ivanson Batista, and John Batista. Well, our fan just landed in the ATL. Said he's gonna pick us up as soon as they get to the hotel room. Very nice. We got fans at every, every ah, place. We're, we're popular guys, Worldwide. Larry. That's right. We got him. Owen Ward on his way to Europe. Post 77 Global. <laughs> you can do. We're the, po we're the Ashland Post 77 Network. Yeah, th uh, that's true. You made that up last summer. That's right. I didn't make it up. It's a you network. It's WACA TV in Ashland, HCAM in Hopkinton, HCAM in Alston. The All network. Right. The Ashland Legion Baseball Network. That's right. Do you guys want to sit together? Here's the, <laughs> here's the 01. Down low. One and one on Henry Chaco, the catcher. Well, I think both pitchers have got their uh, nerves, if they had any, out of the way. Comments? Perhaps. We'll see. Melfi deals. Swing and a miss. One and two. It's only one inning, Larry. Yeah, I understand just that. Know, I, just I remember, on Tuesday, I, the Lawrence pitcher threw eight pitches in the first inning, and they wound up blowing 14 runs. I learned how to read the scoreboard. Thanks, so. Steve. Speaking of that, to pitch count is 16-7. to seven. Amalfi, 16. Mato, 7. There's strike three. Sit down. Grab some pine. Out, strikeout number two for Alex Amalfi. I haven't said Batista, the right fielder, will step in. I got to do that at least once a game. <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't buy you a t-shirt. Oh, that's okay. I had the money, honestly. Melfi deals. Up high. I couldn't get myself one. No more double XLs. I actually I bought that. one. You did? Yep. No two XLs left, sadly. Huh. For all us large folks. Wind up in the pitch. Swing and a miss. The dimensions here at Fino Field and left field is 346. In right field, 375, 416 in left center, 432 to right center, and 520 to dead center field if you can get it. The 1-1. One, one. There's a strike. Oh, well, he didn't like it. Lawrence Pitter did not like it. That's just, just too bad. You know what? The zone's the zone. You can deal with it, you can cry about it. Yep. The 1-2. A little high, says the home plate umpire. Two and two. Thought about it. There it is. Strikeout number two. The seat's warm for you, buddy. Three for the game, two for the inning. John Batista will step in. That's your teammate to slide over. That was a nasty pitch right there. The bottom just fell right out of that thing. It certainly did. Good luck trying to hit, hit that thing. Yeah. Melfi looking good so far. That one outside, one and oh. Talking to the post 77 players in between games, what they thought of Luke Gustus, and they just sat back and relaxed and enjoyed the show. There's a strike. And it was a show that he put on. Right. And I'm sure they're enjoying so far. What Double A is doing. Melfi deals, and this is hit in the air, little bloop, and it's caught by a Melfi, no problem. One, two, three, they go to the bottom of the second. We go, we're scoreless on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Bottom of the second inning, four, five, and six, two up for post 77. Dom Cavanaugh, Sean Jewett, and Cole Glassburn. We are scoreless here. As we start the bottom of the second, and so far, seems like we might have a pitcher's duel on our hands. Could be one of those one nothing, two one type of games. You just kind of get that feeling, don't you? Absolutely. Mato set to deal. There is a called strike.
Swing and a miss. Cavanaugh went one for three in the game against Sandwich and had a walk. An RBI double in the first inning. And scored Jackson Hornung. Wind up and the pitch. Up high. One and two. Lawrence outfield playing Dominic Cavanaugh straight up. Here's the one two. Swing and a miss. Out number one, a nasty pitch there. That'll bring up Sean Jewett. What about wipeout curveball? Mato steals outside. I'm almost thinking post 77 on a look curve first and fastball second. Outside, two and oh. Sean Jewett was two for three and was hit by a pitch in the game this afternoon against Sandwich. This is hit in the air, foul territory, and out of re the reach of anybody. Two and one. Matos came up big for Lawrence High School this year. I read doing my research at 4.30 in the morning. And Jewett gets a piece of this one over to left field, but it's caught. Two way. Nothing but a long out. But they were in a division with North Andover, who won the Elite Eight and had to face Sebastian Keene and company. The Red Sox draft pick. Right, but you know, he committed to Northeastern. He, he well, was a 340th pick, yep. sort of a... Uh, so, yeah, and of course in uh, the Major League Baseball, actually, you can get drafted again. Yeah, there's a junior. Cole Glassburn steps in, strike one. Yeah, it's not quite like hockey where you get drafted for example, if you get drafted this year and you still are in school, you, can, you, you stay in school and stick with that team four years now, you don't get redrafted. Yeah. Baseball, of course, if you don't sign, you can get redrafted, you know, one, two, three years from now. The 0 1, strike two. I spoke to Cole in between games at a place to be uh, said later off air, but he said, geez, I went 0 for 4 last game. I got to get a hit. So just be patient, bud. Followed into the backstop, count remains 0 and 2. Mato set to deal. And he'll get a piece of this one left side, foul territory, and it's caught. That'll be the third out of the inning. To the top of the third we go. We are scoreless here on the National Legion Baseball Network. Top of the third inning. Scoreless game between Lawrence Post 15 and Ashland Post 77. 8, 9, and 1 do up for Lawrence. Luis Colon, Brian Guerrero, and Keebler Peralta to face Alex Amalfi, who so far has pitched a good game. Not bad, not bad. As far as pitch count, Miguel Mato said 19 pitches, Alexa Melfi at 28. Line up and the pitch to Cologne, swing and a miss. Swung right, right through that one. Hey Steve, what do you think about the 77's outfield positioning? I think they're a little deep. We're gonna cut balls off in the gap. There's another strike. Which you kind of have to, because if one goes past you here, there's a lot of space for it to roll. These guys can fly. They can, there's still a lot of room out there though. Yep. Here's the 0-2. Sits him down, one away. Hmm. pine must smell good in that dugout. Fourth strikeout of the game for Amalfi. I'm sure it's Quite comfortable. Well, 
it was warmed up by Luke Gustafson in game one. <laughs> <laughs> promised no puns this game. I'm keeping to my word. No punning. Brian Guerrero steps in. Ronan Bates has arrived. Former Ashley and Post 77 player, University of Lowell Riverhawk. The 1 0. This is hit in the air, foul territory, and out of play. One and one. Ooh, that almost took out somebody in the stands. I'll just point out the slebs as they, you know, sort of roll in. Good crowd, though. Certainly is. Good turnout for the state championship game. If Milford would, was in it, they would have banged this place out. But they're not. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Up high. Two and one is the count on Guerrero. Melfi deals. There's a strike. Two and two. Here's the 2-2. Swing and a miss, and it got away from Jew. It'll throw down, no problem. Two away. Fifth strikeout of the game for Amalfi. That'll bring up Kebler Peralta, the shortstop. I would say he's got a handful of strikeouts. Uh, I, I see what you did there. A hand. That was sign language. That was sign language. Uh, Just to remind I, Tom. I, I, I see what you did. Like, <laughs> like that many. <laughs> Remember I taught him sign language the other night, his very first word? That's right. That's impressive, Larry. <laughs> All right. That <laughs> <laughs> pitch outside to the leadoff man. We had a single in the first inning and then advanced on an error. He's dangerous. This, this is the guy I really worry about, this kid. Wind up in the pitch, inside. Mm. Two and oh. Get him off the plate a little bit. Uh, was, a lot of high praise. Not just you saying high praises about this kid. A lot of people around here have been. The, oh, yeah. Malfi deals outside. 3-0. and oh. Trying to pitch around him, perhaps. Mm, yeah, maybe, but and here's you, the deal. You, and you do have two outs. Yeah, but here's the deal. If he takes first, he's going to probably take second. Or make an attempt. Three zero pitch, swing and a miss. Mm. Not a real good swing. Slow swing. Yeah, he might have taken a little something off that, a little something something off that pitch. The three one, swing and a miss, full count. Swung a ball four right there. That's all right. You, you of course can, it is. He can he can swing. So we can miss on the next one. Really, it doesn't bother me. Fouled away. Count remains full. Alex Amalfi is, is looking as relaxed as Luke Gustafson looked in game one. A lot of poise. State championship game, a lot on the line. Wind up in the pitch. Did he go? No. And it's a walk. To a walk to Peralta. And a ball Pena will step in. Sean Jew had asked for uh, or appealed whether he swung or not to the base umpire. So well, the home point, he actually did check with the umpire at third base, and he confirmed that it was no swing. Well, the first base umpire wouldn't have a view at it, view on a, on a leftino. Look at that lead. It's kind of a greedy lead over there. Melfi looks at first and deals. This is popped up right side, ranging in and making the catch is Calabrese. No problem. And that is the third out of the inning. 
to the bottom of the third we go. We are scoreless on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Bottom of the third inning, 7, 8, and 9 do up for post 77. Sam Farrell, Drew Rancatori, Nick Calabrese. Post 77 has went down 1, 2, 3 in the first two innings. Need more patience here at the plate. I agree. Wind up and the pitch, swing and a miss. Here's the 0-1. Farrell gets a piece of this foul. 0 and 2. Well, Matos has only thrown 19 pitches coming into this inning. Seven in the first, 12 in the second. Wind up and the pitch. This is hit high in the air to center field, and it is caught. One away. That'll bring up Drew Rankatori, the first baseman. Post 77 still looking for a hit. At least something hit hard. First pitch. We've got four Is flyouts. You just need you'd want to drop, really. Here's the 1 0. Inside. 2 and 0. Drew Rankatori against Sandwich went one for three and was hit by a pitch. 77 hasn't seen a pitcher like this. There's a strike all season. And I'll go into the regular season high school. I've not seen a kid like this. There's a strike. Two and two. You're up there, Steve. What's your approach? Be patient, but if there's something good, swing. And this is hit in the air towards the shortstop, and it's caught. Two away. That'll bring up Nick Calabrese. That would have been ball three right there. Yeah, but the pitch is coming in, I don't know, 50 miles an hour, that maybe 60. And it looks so tempting and juicy. Well, this guy only has one strikeout, so they're making contact. Just It's not going anywhere. That's the problem. Mato steals, there's a strike. Calabrese's been hitting really, really good from the nine hole. Swing and a miss, so and two. Okay, he's the deal, he's the real deal. I'd say so. He wouldn't be pitching if it weren't for that rainstorm yesterday. Yep. Mother nature. But you go with the factors. Inside, says the home plate umpire, one and two. What would Eckersley have said there? He almost left his shoes <laughs> in the batter's box. <laughs> the one, two. Gets a piece of this one over to center field, and that'll drop in for a hit. A two-out single for Nick Calabrese. A good piece of hitting there. Can we all say hallelujah? Hallelujah. That'll bring up Kevin Balowitz. Calabrese went one for three against Sandwich today. Ever since he was inserted in the lineup uh, in the rubber match against Lowell, he's been earning his keep. He's been hitting the... Well, I'm not going to say it. Hitting the ball hard. 
So this is the first time we'll see Matos work from the stretch today. Takes a look at first and deals outside. First hit of the game for post 77. Mato steals, there's a strike. Amalfi pitches out of the stretch the whole game. So, Mato may have slight difficulty working on the stretch, but one and one now. The one one. And this is a little trickler up the middle, takes a couple hops, picked up by the shortstop, throw to first. A little bit low, just got him. Six to three, four out, number three. We'll move along to the top of the fourth. We're scoreless on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Top of the fourth inning. We are scoreless between Ashland Post 77 and Lawrence Post 15. It has been a straight out pitcher's duel between Miguel Matos and Alex Amalfi. Due up for Lawrence is three, four, and five. Luis Mejia, Christian Verona, and Henry Chaco. Well, the defense by Lawrence has certainly been a lot more clean tonight. So far. Wind up and the pitch. Inside and high, one and oh. I see the commissioner of zone five is in the house this evening. Mendoza. Yep. Certainly is. Upstairs, two and oh. Tom, zone five's looking to snap a rather dubious skid. They have not had a state champion since 2000. And Lowell won wow. it. It's been 18 years. Will the streak end tonight? We shall see. Now, there was a champion in 2012, Bill Ricca, but you remember those two years that the winner of the quote unquote state tournament did not advance the regionals. They had the whole national qualifier thing those ah. two years. So, yep. 18 year drought, though. Pretty crazy. Hopefully, post 77 ends that tonight, but we'll certainly have to wait and see. Yeah, they were wandering in play. The fan on there was in play. Probably not, you're probably not supposed to enter over there. That pitch down low, yeah. three and oh now. That's why they have those lines. Because the field's for players and coaches and umpires, not fans. So. We'll take it, you know. In the parking lot, yes. In the parking lot or away from the white lines. Yeah. <laughs> Knowledgeable fan. Fan. There's a walk, a four pitch walk. That'll bring up Christian Verona, the first baseman. Alfie takes a look at first and deals. There's a strike. The 0 1 checking at first, runner back safe. With their team speed, they could manufacture something. Like the runners got a little hot feet over there, first base. He's taking off, and it'll get by Jewett, runner in scoring position. What happens when you get hot feet? One and one on Verona. It's a 
walk into Wild Fish. You have gift wrapped him in two bases so far. Certainly don't want to gift wrap them anything else. No. Melfi deals inside. Two and one. Lawrence has had a runner as far as third base, but he was stranded there. Runner with a significant lead at second base. Swing and a miss. Two and two. A hefty hack on that. Yeah, but he's he's been gullible with this high cheese. Christian Verona struck out in his only plate appearance back in the first. Yeah. It's tough to lay off that letter high fastball. Outside. Louis Mejia threatening to take off before that pitch. Get, get the big secondary lead out there. Al's doing a good job holding the ball. Inside to hit him. And the runner's going to take off for third. Go back. Him. Did not hit him. No? Nope. It's Coach Obid going to argue it. Nope. Just a conference of the mound. So it was a walk. Yeah, walk course, and then the pass ball. So now you have a man at third. They said walk, wild pitch, and pass ball. Just gift, gift, gift right there. Yep. No outs in the inning. Runners on the corners. Oh, I, I think that uh, Lawrence has got a, well, suppose 77 has got a, they haven't uh, tried many uh, cutoff plays. You know, from the catcher to the shortstop. Now, would you intentionally walk this batter to load the bases instead of a forced home plate? No. You I'd, wouldn't? I wouldn't. I'd try to get the outs. Okay. And since you struck this guy out last time. Maybe pick over a couple times. Got a really good move. Followed him to the backstop, 0 oh and 1. Top of the fourth inning, scoreless between Lawrence and Ashland, state championship game. Winner moves on to regionals. Tom Nappy, Larry Sacklad, Steve Watson on the call, Connor Donovan on camera. It's been our pleasure to bring you Ashland Legion Baseball all season long. On either WACA TV in Ashland, HCAM in Hopkinton, or HCAT in Holliston. It's been a pleasure working with ye. Melfi set to deal. Down low, runner taking off from first, throw up to third. Pretty good throw there by Jewett. And one is the count. Often that pump throw to second and the throw to third goes in the outfield, but not in this situation. One one. Foul. One to attempt there by Checo. Runners on second and third, no outs in the inning. Their speed is putting a lot of pressure on post 77. And this is hit in the air over to center field. That'll drop in. One run is in. Here comes another. A 2 0 Lawrence lead. A two RBI single for Checo. Bring 
it by Vincent Batista, the right fielder. I wouldn't hold that runner on. This, this kid liable to bunt. Drag one. Yep, still no outs in the inning. But Lawrence has broken through and gotten to Amalfi. Foul tip. The 0 1. There's a strike. Absolutely zero lead by that runner. Two RBI single by the catcher, Henry Checo, to score Mejia and Verona. Puts Lawrence up two to nothing. Well, Post 77 wants to move on. They're going to have to find a way to get tomatoes somehow. Some way, somehow. Keep grinding. Trying to get some men on. But first things first, you got to stop the bleeding here and get some outs. That's right. Here's the one two, down low. Alex has just got to work the header. Doesn't even have to look over Throw at first strikes. base. No yeah. gifts. It's not Christmas time. No strikes. Isn't Christmas time below the equator? Here's the two and two. Fouled into the Ooh, backstop. Almost in the booth. <laughs> if if that backstop is a couple inches short of that, it's coming right for your head, Larry. No, no. Come up yeah. to your head, Dr. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know, there's not much up there anyway, so. That's not true. <laughs> you need some brains to be an umpire. <laughs> some. The fans wouldn't agree with that, though. Yeah, the ones from Saturday, right? <laughs> right. Ready to kill that guy. Wind up and the pitch. There's strike three. One away. Ding. We'll bring up John Batista, the center fielder. When you buy eggs, do you buy them by the half dozen or dozen? Dozen. I buy them by the half dozen. That was six strikeout, Steve. I get you now. Oh, okay. Handful, half a dozen. <laughs> okay. Melfi looks over at first and is set to deal to the center fielder. There's a strike. Well, Coach Obid's done an unbelievable job with his 77 team. The youngest manager in the history of Massachusetts American Legion baseball. The history. And that's a long time. Fouled into the backstop, 0 and 2. That goes back to the 1920s. Yeah. 21 years old, a rising junior at the University of Massachusetts Amherst. And he's studying to be a school teacher. And coaching, that's a good way to jumpstart a career like that, I'd say. It certainly is. Coach Obit has done a miraculous job with this team. Outside, 1 and 2. He plans on being around for years to come, he says. Alex has thrown 23 pitches so far this inning. Well, that is certainly not what you want. That'll bring him in the 60s. That is going to get away from Jewett. And that's the last thing you can have right now are these wild pitches. And he spiked it. Way too much of that. You're not going to beat this team with Pitching no. like that. Two and two. So far, Alex has thrown 68. He's got 32 and 5, 37 left in the gun. 105 is his max. Melfi looks at second and steps off the mound. 
One on, one out. Two runs in for Lawrence here in the top of the fourth. <laughs> I just got a text. I'm sorry. Checking at second, runner back safe. You know how I feel about that play. They don't practice it. They shouldn't do it in a game. Wind up in the pitch, swing and a miss. That's unfortunate. That's out number two. I'll bring up Luis Colon. The kid at second is not gonna swipe three, so Jackson should just get in his regular shortstop position, not even worry about him. Seven strikeouts on the day for Malfi as that pitch is low. <laughs> Malfi deals. This is fouled away behind us. You flinched. One and one. I did not. You could have caught that, Larry. <laughs> no. You just had to reach up. No. Big hole on the left side for this kid. Outside, two and one. Time called. Yeah, smart room, smart move. Yeah, maybe post 77 hitters will do more of that next yeah. inning. Try to throw Matos off his rhythm. Preach runner call time. Talking, somebody's yapping. Looks like the umpire was talking to someone in the crowd. I think it was a cell phone flash. It's a distraction. Don't need it. 2 1, swing and a miss. 2 and 2. He's got to put this kid away right now. Well, if he looks at second and deals inside. Full okay. count. That would have been a strike last night, Steve, right? In the previous game, you mean? Yeah. Yes. Guy loved the black. Runner with a lead at second, fouled into the backstop. Count remains full. Pitch count keeps rising. Well, at this rate, Melfi won't last the whole game. No bullpen activity as yet. Wind up and the pitch. And this is up the right side, picked up by Glasper, and throw to first, no problem. Four to three for out number three, but Lawrence plates two runs, and they lead it two to nothing as we head to the bottom of the fourth on the Asher Legion Baseball Network. Bottom of the fourth inning, a two nothing Lawrence lead, two, three, and four do up for post 77. Brandon Grover, Jackson, Hornung, Dom, Kavanaugh. Face Miguel Matos, who pretty much has been lights out in this game. Oh, Brandon can leg out an infield hit. There's a strike. That'd be a good start. I mean, 
Oh, geez. They're starting already. Strike two. Some cheap talk going on the left field line. I'm sure the... And gets a piece of this foul. The Legion officials aren't too happy about that. The 0-2. Late swing, out number one. Gonna bring up Jackson Hornum. So Lawrence rolled into town the other night, and made nine errors. Made a total mockery of the game. Hot dog the whole way. And they got beaten badly, 14 to six. Oh, not this Lawrence team tonight. Nope. Hey! I don't know about that call. One and oh. Well, oh, excuse me, say, oh and one. They threw that game on Tuesday. Oh, yeah. So, you're not supposed to do that. Yeah, well, it's pretty clear to me. Mato steals inside, one and one. Night and day difference, really. Outside, two and one. Their infield looked like Swiss cheese that night. <laughs> yeah. Of course, it helps that there haven't been a whole lot of ground balls. Yeah, well. In this game, that certainly helps. A lot of flyouts. Well, there hasn't been a whole lot of contact. <laughs> two and two. Yeah, they, they've made contact, Tom, but it's, it, it just hasn't been strong enough. Right. But very weak yeah. contact. Yep. Been poking and flicking at balls. Yep. Here's the 2 2. Up the left side, glove by the third baseman, throw to first. Is not in touch. Are you kidding me? They call him out. I don't know. I don't know about that. Well, what's over a lack of hustle? I thought he was safe, Steve. I thought he was out. Honestly. All right. How about dishonestly? It was a close play. It was. Tom Cavanaugh steps in. Two outs. Outside. Now, I'm sure we could go back and look at the tape following this game to, to see who. Oh, was I right. will. Yep, he'll, he'll be going right back to the studio as soon as the game is <laughs> over. That's what he's going to do. No, I'm not. Not tonight. There's a strike. One and one. I'm not going to say what Dom Cavanaugh was voted by fans at one of the games. Yes, I will. Nicest hair around the team. Up high. Good eye. And I, and I believe that I was one of the nicest hair of the broadcast crew, right? That's true. Not a lot of competition, though. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> Get your Norelco out. Actually, uh, Connor gets Oops. the nicest hair on the broadcast crew. It's filed away. <laughs> two and two. He can turn off the camera just as I'll quick go with as... That. I'll go with Connor. The soft and supple look. Well, twos are wild on the scoreboard. The 2-2. Two -two. Strike three. And out number three will go to the fifth inning. 2-0 Lawrence on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Top of the fifth inning. 9-1 and 2 do up for Lawrence, who will try to add on some security, leading 2 to nothing. Yeah, Alex Amalfi's got 29 left in his hose, plus some, depending on whether he's in the middle of a hitter. 
He hits 104. He can pitch to the next hitter. Wind up and the pitch. Up high. Somebody's going down the bullpen. Looks like uh, Andrew Sternick. There's a strike, one and one. One and two. That was a good call by the home plate umpire. Up the middle, slow roller, picked up by Hornung, throw to first, pulls the first baseman off the bat. All he could do, he had to take it barehanded. Single for Guerrero, Peralta will come up to the plate, the leadoff man, Kevlar Peralta. What he could do was a grass cutter. A grass cutter? A grass cutter, yes, it's the... Uh, a lawnmower, you mean? No, no, grass cutters. Slowly hit ball that just stays on the, the grass. It doesn't take any hops. Okay. So there's no way to read it. Runner may take off. Checking at first, runner back mm. safe. That was close. You think so? I thought so. Well, this kid's got speed. Yeah, if, if you can slap that tag on a bit faster. Jewett threatens a throw, one and off. I don't know whether this is the time for a back pick. He's had one this year, I think one in his career. Well, if you're Ashton, you need a game-changing play, and it's got to happen soon. Yeah, but you don't want an airmail in the outfield. Well, I get that too. Runner is taking off, it's a bunt, picked up by Jewett, throw to first, they get one out. Nice job by Jewett, at least getting the one out. Like a cat, he jumped out. They'll bring up Anibal Pena, second baseman. Bunt did the job. Kid's got a big stick. I might walk him. And he's 0 for 2 today. Well, I'll take it back then. There's a strike, 0 and 1. Good block by Sean Jewett. Everybody's got to get dirty out there. Runner on second, they got to knock balls down. They can't let a ball get through. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Nope, he'll throw to second. And into the center field it goes. No one was covering the bag. I don't know why he threw. You know how I feel about that play. There wasn't even anyone there. You don't practice it, don't do it. Well, now you have a runner on third with one out. He's 90 feet away, and fly ball, and score him. Stuff like that must drive coaches crazy. No one covering the bag, and you still throw it anyway. How about color guys? Yeah. But, uh, it, they just don't do it. it they don't practice it. And even if you do practice it, there's no one covering. Well, now the infield is in all the way around. Hit high in the air, right side. And that is way up there and caught by Rankatori. Two away. Looked like he did the Texas two-step out there. That ball was hit so high in the air. That's a mile high. Yeah, well, okay. It'll bring up Louis Mejia. Launch angle right there. Right, Larry? Yeah, it was. I Launch don't... angle, exit velocity, yep. and all that other useless well, stuff. Well, Drew and Katori is going to try to go for an Ivy League school. Ooh, just yeah. missed a breaking pitch. I hear he's going to want to study brain surgery. Really? Yes. So it could be Dr. Dr. Drew Rankatori. Okay. I offered my body to science. 
This is hit high in the air and caught by Kavanaugh for the third out. Two to nothing as we head to the bottom of the fifth on the Asher Legion Baseball Network. Bottom of the fifth inning, five, six, and seven due up for post 77. Sean Jewett, Cole Glasper, and Sam Farrell. There's some ugly words exchanged in the press box in between innings. You don't want to know what, what was said here. <laughs> all in good fun. Insults, all sorts of stuff. Miguel Mato set to deal. Swing and a miss. Well, this pitcher is something else. No one has been able to touch him. One hit for post 77. So the uh, Lawrence fans are getting a little uh, mouthy on their side. Well, they don't seem like the most classy group. I wasn't going to say that, but since you've said it. I agree with Tom. <laughs> um, one and one. It's like they've never been to a ball game. Yeah, I'm, taunting players on the other team is just uncalled for. This is up the middle over the shortstop. Throw over is in time. Six to three, four out number to one. And that'll bring up Paul Glasper. If that was the other night, it would have been in the parking lot. True, Steve? Very true. The way they were hot-dogging it the other night? That throw would have been in Hopkinton. Yes. Well, they clearly uh, weren't trying too hard the other night. Well, here's our boy, Tom, our Hopkinton and Hiller. Mato steals inside. What's your thoughts on a bunt for a base hit? Uh, not with his speed, no. Barney Rebel, no way. Called strike. And that's by his own admission. Okay. I'm, I'm not saying call, I'm just saying in general, because I would ask, needs to get something going. I there. know, but I would ask, if he's going to bunt, I would do it down yeah. the third baseline. Even just a runner. It doesn't matter how... Speaking uh, I would do that with the next guy. There. Speaking him to speaking with him between games at a place I can't describe, he just wants a hit. Well, I think, I think everyone wants it. They only yeah, have one. Third baseman in on the cut. So he might smell bunk. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Gets a piece of this one, a little trickler, picked up by the third baseman to throw over in time. Two away. Sam Farrell, the DH, will step in. And this, <clears throat> and this is a guy you may see a bunt from. True. Although with two outs, though, I think I'd probably save the bunt for a later time. You want your leadoff man on to start a beginning. Um, I've just been uh, texted that I've used the term hot dog more than one time. You have. That's sort of a no-no in broadcasting, right? This is hit in the air, right side foul territory, caught. One, two, three, they go once again. And we will move along to the top of the six. Two nothing Lawrence on the Ashton Legion Baseball Network. A little taunting. Top of the sixth inning, four, five, and six, due up for Lawrence. Christian Verona, Henry Chaco, and Ivanson Batista. Well, we've seen a, lot, seen a lot of baseball this week, Tom, and we've seen a lot of good sportsmanship. And as the uh, sort of the commish said during pregame, there have been like six one-run games. Yep. Those are nail biters and fans on both sides. You know, losers, upset, winners, happy. But you know, when it comes to the hot dogging and that kind of stuff, the taunting, the staring at the hitter after you strike him out, that's more like spicy, spicy beef than hot dogging. You know what I mean? There's <laughs> a strike. I agree. Now that's what we're going to do tomorrow for lunch. It has been a fun tournament. The 0-1. There's a nice strike. 0-2. No, that's not what he wanted to do. 1-2 on the cleanup man. Inside. Two and two. Oh. 
ripped up the left side in the left field. It goes. Verona's aboard with a single. Is he going for two? No. No. My mother would get two bases before he would. She's 87. Henry, uh, oh, uh, Henry Checo is going to step in. It's a good thing uh, Dom Cavanaugh still has his head attached to his shoulders. That ball was ripped. Well, we'll see what the leash is with Malfi. His pitch count certainly getting up there as well. 87 yeah. coming into the inning compared to just 55 for Miguel Matos. Yeah. Well, the way Matos is throwing, you might see him go pretty high up with his skills. He could throw 20 innings. Kid's good. Would not be available for us and for Mother Nature. And this is hit in the air over to center field, caught. Oh, I thought he was going to come up firing. He should have. Well, you, you don't have anybody back. Oh, wow. At some point, you need a game changing play. Uh, yeah, I know, but he could have airmailed so, that over to Rankin's well, head. Yeah, he, he could have, but. But he threw it yeah. towards the plate, and there was nobody backing up a mouthy, so. Ivinson Batista steps in. I don't know why Sean Jewett was trailing the runner. That's just a little curious piece. One and oh. We'll never know the answer, but Brandon Grover is a smart baseball player, and he's going to be the incoming president of Ashland High School. Checking at first, runner back safe. And I told you Drew Rancatori is going to be the incoming president of Hopkins and High, and a future yep. brain surgeon, and a future astrophysicist out in center field. So there you are, a smart baseball team. A lot smarter than we are up here. Yo, sure. <laughs> Outside runner taking off the throw to second. Got him. See you later. Two away. Slid right into the tag. Post 77 needed that. Desperately. A little momentum boost. Right to the bag. Jewett's been, uh, Jewett's been very impressive this year. Certainly has. Just continues to get better and better behind the plate. Well. He's going to try and walk on at Stonehill next year. He doesn't lack for fire. The 2-0. Outside. Alex Amalfi at 97 pitches. If he can get through this hitter. can pitch to another next inning. Swing and a miss. Ooh, did you feel that breeze up here, Steve? Yeah, it's, uh, it's quite nice. Yeah. Three and one. Something really smells down there. Yep. Oh, boy. It's very unpleasant. It's permeating the... There's a walk. One on, two outs. John Batista will step in. Big lead over first base. Checking at first, runner back safe. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Outside. This might be Alex Amalfi's last hitter. Let's do some action down in the pen, down the right field line. Checking at first, runner back safe. 
awful confident, that kid. Two and a half stride lead. The 1-0 outside. Melfi certainly has taken significantly longer working from the stretch. Runner taking off. And a throw up off the glove of Hornum. I think Glassburn covered on that one. Hornum backed up. I thought that last pitch was pretty good, but the umpire called it a ball, 3-0. and oh. Melfi's asking for another egg from the umpire. Sometimes new ammo works, right, Steve? Another egg from that carton, right, Larry? That's right. Three zero pitch, swing and a miss. Can't win. With one hit, Tom. Nope. FYI. Certainly can't. Unless there was a whole lot of walks. Another walk. I don't know what was wrong with that pitch. It'll bring up Luis Cologne. Well, why don't you uh, do an interview with the home plate umpire? I'd, I'd love to. That's what pitch 103 was. Let's see what he could do with the number eight hitter. Runner at second is not going to take off. Hit in the air, left side, and foul. Well, that might have been the fatal blow if that wasn't foul. Lots of groans in this press box. That was a lot of excitement over foul ball. I think there's a lot of partisan fans in this press box. The three of us for, I'm counting us three. I would say so. Homers. But we're good sports, even though we're homers. Absolutely. Uh, mosquito in the eye. That'll happen occasionally. Does that ever happen to you as a home plate umpire? Get a little... Not so much bugs, you know, but sometimes happens, you get dirt. Oh. Especially in the spring if you have a... Uh, Wind? Windy day and it just kind of swirls and gets in your eye after call time. Yo, one. Down low. One and one. So the batter got bug-eyed. Bug-eyed, yes. And he was given time. Fouled away. One and two. Two up next inning for post 77 is Rankatori, Calabrese, and Balowitz. Al's definitely got to get this kid out. Has to. He'll have to come out of the game after this hitter no matter what. Oh. Thought about it. Yeah. Two and two. Deuce is wild. Outside. Melfi having all kinds of trouble finding the strike zone this inning. I think he just reached back for everything he had in the tank. Lawrence fans getting excited. The team ahead 2-0. Payoff pitch. It's going to be off. It's a walk. Still don't know what was wrong with that one. What, that last pitch? That may be a little high, but come on. Oh, come on. Anyways. <laughs> anyway, so what are you doing tomorrow? 
Not a baseball game. Okay. We have a, we have a pinch hitter here. Melfi will come out of the game. We'll have a new pitcher for post 77. It looks like it'll be Matt Tomaselli. Matty Tomaselli will come in and pitch the remaining inning in and a third. So a new pitcher for post 77. We'll take a timeout. 2 0 Lawrence on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Continuing on in the top of the sixth, Matty Tomaselli, the new pitcher. Two outs, bases loaded for Lawrence. Brian Guerrero, the DH, was the scheduled hitter, but we do indeed have a pinch hitter for Lawrence, and it's going to be Inocencio Suavis stepping in. Very good, Tom. Inocencio Suavis. So Inocencio Cuevas steps in to pinch hit. Let's see if Matty Tomaselli can get out of the jam with no further harm. Swing and a miss. Tomaselli deals, swing and a miss, so and two. <laughs> the 0-2. Swing and a miss, strike three, four out number three. Maddie Tomaselli gets the job done. We'll move along to the bottom of the sixth. Lawrence leading two to nothing on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Bottom of the sixth inning, eight, nine, and one due up for post 77. Drew Rancatori, Nick Calabrese, Kevin Balowitz. And Coach Obid with a uh, spirited talk with his team. We can't say what he said, but if you were here, you would have heard what he said. Does that make sense? Absolutely. We've got media taking all of your insect repellent. I'm going to have to start charging people. I understand uh, New Center 5 was here with uh, their satellite truck. They were. It's a big deal. State championship. Well, Post 77 could certainly use a hit. Yep. They Coach only have Obed. one yep. all game. Coach Obid said, we are not going down like this. We are going to fight. The third baseman is playing in, so maybe, maybe a bunt here. That hit him in the head. Well, that's some fight. I like that. Lead well, man on. We'll take it. It's a base runner. Nick Calabrese will step in. I Calabrese has the only hit of the game for post 77. You pinch run for him. He's a, the wounded giraffe. He gets some speed on the bench. No. Well, he's not going to return to no, the he's plate. He's running a lot better than he was. No, but he, he's, but he, he's not the tying run. No. And I, it looks I like gotcha. the coach what? is taking the baseball. So what? we're gonna have a new pitcher for Lawrence. You know what this this kind of reminds me of? Remember, uh, yeah, yeah was I remember. Game, game yeah. four of the World Series last year, and the Dodgers yanked that Rich Hill. So we'll have a new pitcher. What? The cameraman is looking at us. For Lawrence, and uh, we'll get you updated on who that will be when we come back. You are tuned in to Ashland Legion Baseball. A 2-0 Lawrence lead in the bottom of the six on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. New pitcher in the game for Lawrence post-15. Jairo Vasquez takes over on the mound. And it's kind of shocking that they took Miguel Matos out of the game after throwing very well through five innings plus. But he started off the inning hitting Drew Rancatori with a pitch. I'd still pinch run for him. Nick Calabrese will step in. Post 77 trailing 2 0. They need to get something going. They're down to their final six outs. It's just really mystifying. I, I'm pretty shocked right now. I mean, 
I don't know. Hope 77 has got start start to take some pitches and make this kid work. Or? I wonder if their starting pitcher maybe has some kind of pitch count from another from team, an, from another team or college or something. Well, this kid was a little wild the other night. Well, he didn't look too. Uh, he looked pretty wild warming up. Vasquez deals outside. Yeah, throw into the screen, Lee. Throw one up here. I'm me. Hey. You got it, Larry. I got it. Hey, his, his, give me a target. Their baseman in on the corner, protecting against the bunt. Outside, two and zero. Oh. He's not swinging at this pitch. Would you? No, I'll give you every you, you penny get, I yeah. got, every dollar, anything. He's not swinging at this You need to make pitch. him prove he can throw a strike. Right. Maybe she'll bunt or something. There's a strike, two and one. Obviously, I'm not going to be financially embarrassed. Rankatori with a slight lead at first. Calabrese gets a piece of it, foul, two and two. Well, chopped at it, but made contact. Just need base runners right now. Doesn't matter how you got there. Look at the outfield alignment. Left fielder is really, really shallow. Playing on the lines, right fielder and left fielder. Gaps. Swing and a miss. Out number one. We're going to bring up Kevin Balowitz, who does not have a hit today. Well, he did in game one. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Went 0 for 3 no, with a walk. Due. He's do that. And he's 0 for 2 in this game. And if there was ever a time post 77 needed a hit out of Kevin Balowitz, it's right now. Pitch outside, one and oh. Runner on first, one out. Feel a little tension in the air, Tom? Certainly do. Vasquez deals outside. Nope. One and one. First pitch tailed off the plate. That one almost the same pitch, got the corner. Fouled away, one and two. Doesn't look like he's gonna throw him a yakker, it's just gonna rear back and throw smoke. One, two. Boy, was I dead wrong. Threw him the hook. Out number two, Brandon Grover will step in. See him hang his leg up in the air for a second. Got fooled hard, that one. Mm. That one just fell right in there. Took him forever to get to the plate with it. Two outs. Well, should 77 go down, I hope there's some good sportsmanship at the end. Swing and a miss. Go oh and two. Fans acting like it's the last inning. The 0-2, strike three. That'll wrap up the sixth. To the seventh we go, 2-0 Lawrence on the Astral Legion Baseball Network. 
top of the seventh inning, top of the order for Lawrence. Matty Tomaselli in. He came in to face the last hitter of the six, struck him out. Keeler Peralta, Anibal Pena, and Louis Mejia do a 2 0 Lawrence lead. 077 will be down to their final three outs next inning. This kid's got really good skills. Dom has got to come in. Outside. Outside. Two and oh. Tough spot for Matty Tomaselli. Being in a state championship game, trying to hold the lead. There's a strike. Two and one. It's a tough spot, but it has to be done, Larry. Well, I'm not volunteering. Don't look at me. Hit right back off of Thomas Selly, picked up by Glasper and throw to first, not in time. A single for Peralta, that'll bring up Anibal Pandian. Yeah. Well, the throw from Glasper was certainly close. Oh, that was ticketed for center field. Thomas Selly didn't get a glove on it. Uh, wager on whether he's going or not? I would say yes. Is Matty Tomaselli hasn't had a whole lot of innings and a whole lot of pickup throws. Peralta with a significant lead. There's a strike. Well, I think it's safe to say there is no longer a doubt that Lawrence was toying with Ashland the other day. Yep. There he goes. There he goes. Jewett with the throw, no good. Stolen bag. Um, put the pause play on. Four fingered salute. Yeah, I think you just battle through at this point. Trying to get Thomas Ellie to balk. There he goes. Throw by Jewett. Got him. See ya. Hot dog. Well, oops. Kevlar Peralta wanted to get greedy. And now he gets thrown out. You know, that's not really a good strategy if you're Lawrence. It is still only a 2 nothing game. You had a chance to add security. And now that security is not on the base paths. I don't know. I thought I've seen it all, but. Tomaselli deals. This is popped up, and it is going to be caught. Two way. That'll bring up Luis Mejia. That was good fundamentals by Cole Glassburn. You catch the ball with two hands because you were born with two hands. Yep. You got to get out of this inning and hope to get something going in the bottom of the seventh. Good part of your order coming up. There's a strike. <laughs> Good job, Maddie. Down low. Lawrence, the number one seed. Only up to nothing. Here's the 1-1, one, one, down low. <laughs> 2-1, 
Hit high in the air over to left center and it is caught by Brandon Grover. Grover had a range pretty far to his right to make the catch but gets the job done. We'll head to the bottom of the seventh. Post 77 down to their final three outs, trailing two to nothing up next on the Asher Legion Baseball Network. Bottom of the seventh, post 77 down to their final three outs, trailing two to nothing. Jairo Vasquez in the game, the second pitcher of the game for Lawrence, came in to relieve Miguel Matos, who pitched a very nice five innings. Matos hit a batter to start the sixth, and then that's when Lawrence brought in Vasquez as Jackson Hornung steps in. Hornung, Kavanaugh, Jewett, do up. Fouled away. Wonder what uh, Coach Obid's comments were before he departed for the third base coach's box. Hit the baseball. See it hit it? Something like that? See ball, hit ball. Yeah. Jackson Horn, 0 for 2 today. Well, in this game, he had a few hits in that sandwich game. Oh, come on up. <laughs> it's 3 for 4 in the sandwich game. Now, I learned my lesson. He will throw the yak. He's up 0-2. Just to freeze him. Swing and a miss, so number 1. We'll bring up Tom Cavanaugh. Yeah, that hit him. Oh, Sean Jewett will step in. The umpire got in the middle. Tying run at the plate. Something was said. And the Lawrence coach just poked his head out of the dugout. Something was said. We had a little coaches squabble the last game. Vasquez checks in at first. Runner back safe. Yeah, yeah so I, with that little squabble last game, I did find out what happened, and it was just classless and uncalled for on the part of Lawrence. Maybe he'll throw it in the outfield on a pick. Outside, good eye by Jewett. Well, we'll see if this pitcher's got rabbit ears. We'll see. Dominic's going nowhere. The 1 0. Foul. 1 and 1. Bottom of the seventh, runner on first, 1 out. A 2 0 lead for Lawrence. Post 77 down to their final two outs. Ashland crowd on its feet down the first base line. This is up the left side. Bobbled a little bit by the third baseman. The throw over is in time. Post 77 is down to their final out. Kavanaugh advanced to second. The last bird to the plate. Jewett hit the bag hard, came up a little lame, but. Well, no matter what happens here, it's been an incredible run by Ashland Post 77. Coach Obit has just done a remarkable job with this team. They have been fun to watch all season long. Think about it, 2017, they never in their club history had ever been in a state final, ever. And they yep. walked in here in 2017. And they got to the dance in 2019. There's a strike. The 
The 127 other teams that are at home right now. Vasquez looks at second hand, deals up the middle to Vasquez. Throw to first, that's the ball game. Lawrence Post 15 are the state champions. They will be going on to the regionals. A rough way to lose if you're Ashley Post 77 after a tremendous season, but what a run it was. So much fun to follow. Coach Obit did a remarkable job in his first year at the helm for Ashland Post 77. Gave the Lawrence coach a hug because he's a classy kid. Fun group to watch, gents. Certainly was. And guys, it's been uh, fun to watch it with you. Yeah. Fun group, very deep, a lot of talent. There'll be a lot of guys back next year. Great coaching staff, of course. They, Jake did an outstanding job. And you got to the, the state championship game. So yep. you did do a lot of things right. Yep. And uh, most of this team will be back next year, minus a few players. And they'll certainly be fun to watch again next year. But congratulations to Lawrence. They're heading to the regionals with the 2-0 win over Ashland Post 77. It was a terrific pitching matchup, and it was uh, certainly a very fun state tournament to watch. I want to give a special thank you to Stephen DeVita and the rest of the staff here at Fino Field for accommodating us all week and making us feel right at home. Big thank you to all the staff here at Fino. And of course, uh, the Watsons who run the best um, concession stand that I've ever seen and have the uh, most delicious food, I think. It's fantastic. That you can get at a ballpark Yum. around here. Uh, are Absolutely. they open? Uh, I'm looking, <laughs> I, I, I see the window open for what it's worth. All right, so. Uh, well, there's gonna be a presentation. We will stay tuned for the presentation. We'll keep things right here and show you the trophy presentation. But a 2 nothing win for Lawrence. They are heading to the regionals. Post 77 finishes second place in the state. And that is no small feat. What an accomplishment even to just get to this point. Yeah, especially considering that th this program had never even been to the state tournament until two years ago. Now you've been Twice in three years. Each time you've won at least two games. You won two games with Coach Johnson two years ago. You won four this year. So, yeah, uh, they're this, a classy bunch. Yeah, this program's taking big steps in a very short time frame. I mean, look at they certainly are. And no crying in baseball. Look at them over there. They're nice tight bunch. Yep. And they certainly are a classy group, and we'll certainly. Uh, we're certainly looking forward to next year where a number of these players will return and they got some great up and coming talent. I think post 77 baseball is going to be very relevant for a long time to come. Yep. They'll certainly draw well. People will want to come play there. Yep. 38 kids tried out this year. I think that speaks volumes right there. Yep, I would agree. Well, you do have a lot of talent, a lot of depth. No reason to think that they can't get right back here in 2020. So Lawrence coming out to get the trophy, and I think there's some plaques that are going to be rewarded as well. But what a fun season it's been. Ashland Post 77 won the Zone 5 championship. But isn't that amazing? You got a 21-year-old kid, a junior at UMass, walking through the door, took this team all the way to state championship. It's unbelievable. And just, you know, lost two to nothing. It's unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, seriously? Uh, first year coach, a college kid. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's how you start a coaching career right there. Certainly is. Those kids would do anything for that guy. Oh, yeah. they'd run, they would through, run through, a through a wall for him. Absolutely. Yep, it, it is certainly very impressive with what he's done in his first year being so young, youngest coach in the state ever. And he was a pa he was passionate when he was a player, and of course he's passionate as a coach. And when he was a player, he'd make his teammates want to run through a wall. Now as a coach, he's making his players want to run through a wall. Yeah, he, he just exudes such confidence. He certainly does. And hopefully he'll be coaching Ashland for many years to come. That's the hope, gents. 
Yeah, unless he gets a nice teaching gig in Alaska or somewhere like that. <laughs> but Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. But in any case, he did a great job this year for sure. Now the uh, American Legion official has come over to their little huddle there and maybe he's saying some kind words to the team about how well represented they were. How they represented themselves, yeah. for that matter. Yeah. I would imagine. Well, Post 77 certainly uh, represented themselves, their schools, their towns, and this program very well here at the state tournament. Their parents, their friends. A little disappointed we didn't get to see an Ashley Milford matchup, though. Yeah, I know. Yeah. We don't want to do 2017 as well, but we didn't get that year either. We just haven't had the luck of the draw. Yeah, it <laughs> just works that way. All right, so let's tune in to the trophy presentation right now down at field level for Connor Donovan on camera, Steve Watson, my broadcast partner, Larry Sacklad. I'm Tom Nappy, and thank you for watching Ashley Legion Baseball all season long. Here's a trophy hey, presentation. Uh, congratulations to the ball team. That's it. It's a great game, as it is large. Uh, we have a, a tournament MVP. players on a tremendous run and a great season and we certainly look forward to next year it's been a lot of fun covering this team all year long but Lawrence victorious tonight they are the state champions heading to the regionals the final score for the final time Lawrence defeats Ashland two to nothing for my broadcast partners Larry Sackland and Steve Watson and Connor Donovan on camera I'm Tom Nappy thanks for joining us and we will talk to you again soon take care everybody